Broadcasting live from the Vile Stadium in San Francisco, home of the 40 Nightmares. You know why this team is named that? Because their fans are known to wake up in a cold sweat screaming at the top of their lungs. <laughs> I don't blame them. Don't poke fun at their city, Grim. Plenty of great places to eat if you like vegan. Hey, I love to eat vegans, but they always whine when you're cooking them. Today's matchup is going to be complete mayhem. The teams are taking the field. The Cardinal Sins go up against the San Francisco 40 Nightmares. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, I was going to get him now. You know what happened? <laughs> see that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing, because NFL Game Day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Six-yard game there. That's a solid pickup. I wish people would do solid pickups more often. I step in dog turns on my front porch every day. And that'll be second down and four. First down. And the running game opens up for them and allows the passing game to be more of a threat. Got to keep them guessing. First down and three. And the quarterback throws a murder ball, which will slice its way through, and, and he catches it for a touchdown. What a beautiful play. Yeah, it's all those power to grin like a haiku. Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he reels that one in for a first down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. And he 
understand me, Junior? I'll wreck your world. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have to made it the dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and that'll bring up second and one. First and ten. He had it for a second there. Second down and ten. He picks up five on that play. down and five. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second and three. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic burst. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer, Keska say. What the fuck, 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 fuck? And it's first and ten. Defensive players go berserk. They've been known to rip the heads off of enemy players. <laughs> Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And it's first and ten. to go somewhere, but he gets stumped after three. They usually stop me after three, too. You know, the all-you-can-eat buffets? They're not as literal as you think.
second down and seven. And he was stuck to him like glue. And they'll bring up third down and seven. And he held on to that one for a first down. First and two. Shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. That run is good for nine yards. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Third and two. And that'll be a first down. You know, Bricks, a lot of people have gotten pass happy in this league. Nice to see some old school mano a mano on the turf, huh? And it's first and ten. Picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. First down and three. Second down and five. Consider running the ball more. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. 
The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And then Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. He picks up nine yards on that catch. That'll bring up second and one. He's not going down. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Second down and ten. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, that well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And it's first and ten. And he picks up ten on that run. Man, he nearly broke that one open, Bricks. Yeah, and I nearly married Trim Big Asian. Nearly as overrated, Grim. Hot one, hot two, eight. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Grim, will you tell the interns to get us some Frank and dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, at least they can pee for me, too. Hot two, hot Second down in a lot. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. Hey. Oh, with a punishing hit. Second down and seven. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. It's two yard run before he stopped. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only, you can kill people. Third down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. They stopped the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's a 
Joe Hagren, thank you that line. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Not two, not three. Nicely done for a first down. The quarterback just used his final timeout. Let's see what they come up with on the next play. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a conference at home. First down and one. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I do. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Four 
yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. He works at the Mutant Stud Farm weekends and summers. Hot, hot one, hot. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Third down and five. Hey. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! And they line up for the extra point. Teams are lined up for the kickoff. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It, it means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. And the QB might as well just bury himself now because this guy is leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And like Bricks' bowels, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. Now there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Sure, now we 
catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. First down and seven. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. I'm gonna wreck it. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> the kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut, and you'll tire these guys out. First down. I still want to I want to kill it all, son of a. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! And this rip is definitely on the take. That was a bogus penalty. First and offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> First down in a mile. Hot one, hot two. Almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open. The third quarter mercifully ends. If this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to, then please accept our apologies. This one is just about over. Second down, it ain't gonna happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, man, the offense called a murder ball. That's a little on the nose, don't you think? The offense just burned the defense pretty hard on that one. That yeah, is still edible, though. Just got to scrape off the charge parts. And that'll bring up third and one. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Nobody can touch me with that ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about?
and here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Ma, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. Target more often. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. In a hurry up offense, there is no huddle, so neither team can put their players on the bench. Oh, look at this guy break tackles. He did it. No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. And he misses that extra point. Oh, look at clown shoes down there. Is he wearing actual clown shoes? I think so. It's probably why he missed. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And the runner is moving fast. Look at the path he's taking up. Yeah, he's taking the psychopath, man. Just make that up yourself. Yeah. Good. Pretty good, Bricks. Thanks. Second down and a lot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. He's got his beast boost working. This guy's a brick shit house. and stumbling he could go all the way it's a touchdown <laughs> don't try to get fancy here just put the ball down and kick it in that order Grim? Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Second down in a very lot. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Third down and nine.
Steinbrenner's after that catch and scored. Nicely done. You know, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The kick is good. Um, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Time to speed things up. The offense goes into a two-minute drill. That's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And it's first and ten. I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. First and ten. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose. Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. The defense calls a timeout to stop the clock. They have two left. Second down and more than the QB would like. Hot one, hot two, hot He was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It and that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense is like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? Ask the ball boy. He didn't do nothing. Oh, big catch. Big run. Big touchdown. Yeah, big deal. Mr. Meat for Brave Grim with a ball. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. <laughs> Here 
And the, and the defense jumps on side, trying to... It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, they both wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. And then, my friends, is why the world hates kickers. I kind of feel sorry for him. He'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. Perfect kick and recovery by the kicking team. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Prince's ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. I took it as a. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! What? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. And the easiest play in the league, and he chokes. Yeah, he's a choker. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. Uh, I thought they were going to do some sort of chorus line. And he'll pick up seven yards on that play. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot And he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. That famous San Francisco whine you hear so much about, it's coming from the opponent's sideline. The 40 Nightmares crush their opponents like grapes. After a stomping like that, the opposition may be a permanent part of the field. More like a graveyard, Grim. There are body parts everywhere. And speaking of body parts, that I have a tell well, you about... let's listen to MVP. I'm sure he has something inspiring to say. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not.